Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard drive back. I don't know what we're going to call this one. Maybe a little behind the scenes. I did a video on this one. I'll link them all together. But, uh, I don't know. I just got this thought to, to show you. Because these are some of the things that have to be done. I don't show everything on video. I show very little, as a matter of fact. When you tell a guy 200, 250, you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy new. And sometimes it is. Don't let your personal feelings get involved. You figure, how much more are you going to put in it? What'd you pay for it? How old or how many miles it got on it? Versus how much is a new one? Well, where's the camera? You weigh it out sometimes. Anyways, I don't think this one's going to get junked. But uh, after further investigation, you know, diagnosing a few things, it's going to be more money, more time. It's not really the parts, it's the time. So what's this one about? Let's see what we want to show you. This is the same radio, same 98, Tech Tune, 98 VHP. I've already rebiased or set the gate voltages to where I can test everything. VCO has been adjusted, the RF chain to get the majority of the harmonics out of this so I can see where all the problems are. Before I put it all back together, put it in the box and stack it up in the back room of the, until after, I ain't saying this one's after Christmas, but I'm busy till way after Christmas. New stuff first, still the mics haven't come in, but anyways, that's how it goes. This is a lot more than a lot of people think. Unless you want the backyard half-assed shit that I can't help you. So, uh, now let's take a look at a few things. I'm just going to disconnect the amp right now. Oh, let's see. get you in here. I must have moved the camera. Let's turn it on. Ooh, no noise. Oh. Yeah, look at that, huh? Yeah. Looky there. Looks too bright. Amp is off. That's all the way down, wide open. Again, this is just real quick. Just so that we can test the rest. So. Three sixty seven. Three sixty seven. Three sixty seven. Okay. Cool. There's a lot more to this than just that. So now we got something halfway to look at. Where were all those spurious emissions coming from, right? That sounds like this. Turn the amp back on. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? But we still have a hellacious amount of harmonics. Uh, someone showed you one on your so. So now let's take a look at it. For instance, 103 kilohertz. Yeah, I've seen better. Let's take a look at 100. Shit bag, right? I'm sorry, I apologize for the vocabulary. I do have a trashy mouth. 300. Still way better than it was. So let's go back to 30. This is where we can see what's really causing a lot of problems from intermodulation, distortion, etc. It might get it too hot. But it's key in now. Well, let's put the 50 in there and see what it is. No power levels at all, at all have been touched. So we're close to where it should be. It's like 35, power is wide open. Remember 
work correctly. Let's take a look at these. That's 3.974. Let's take a look at this one. They're all pretty close. Alright. But where's the problem at? Well, let's take a closer look. Hold on a second. There. I mean, there's too much black stuff in here. Can't find nothing. Yeah, I gotta hit this before I get the crap in here to start measuring things. Because it's really easy to blow shit up. Okay? That's why I got all these different little tools that do certain little things a certain way. Excuse me a moment. Plus, like when you're doing this with large amplifiers, they're dangerous. This spurious emissions. I had one big Texas Star 1600. Shut my watch on and off. The set reset the time. It was that bad? So, anyways, okay, let's. Take a closer look. Now you guys at home in a lot of your shops, if your scope actually works, it's not blown up and still calibrated, I don't recommend that you try this. Because if you don't know what you're doing, at just a slightly lower speed than the speed of light, when you touch this in the wrong place, you just wasted that channel. It might kind of work, but not to do any form of measuring, it'll be wasted. You guys that know what I'm talking about, well, you're probably not watching this video. <laughs> and if you are, and you know what's up, give a thumbs up, man. Click subscribe. Stay tuned in. All right, so here we go. We'll check a couple of them to figure out why it's got so many issues and the power so much less. So let's take a look. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. That's that one. It's that one. Channel one's on the bottom. Channel one. Okay. Let's take a look at. Oh, we got a major issue there, huh? All right. So now let's. I don't want to get things too hot. And remember, doing a video and doing this and looking back and forth, it is a little kind of hairy. Trust me. <laughs> so. I want to pull the harmonic, all the harmonics out of here. I can do that. Look at that. All the harmonics are gone. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit. And you should be able to see half of the wave. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Half the wave. And major issue. Okay? Let's go back so you can see what's going on again. Up. All right. One, two, three. Bad news. There's some issues there, but it's working. 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 Bad news. hot as hell. And you can do something like this very similar to RF bipolar like 2879s. Of course you gotta check capacitors and there are other things that could be out of tolerance that will cause that. But in this case that's eight MOSFETs. All the same batch, all the same everything. No way around it. No one's gonna sit here and try to match them up. Much cheaper to replace them all. I hope some of this is informative. Don't try this at home if you don't know what you're doing. And blow it just like that. Okie dokie. Well, that was just that's some of the after hours or whatever. I don't know what to call this video. Well, that's some of the stuff that's required to be able to determine what the problems are before you can give the customer a quote. All right. 
you will be cool. Enjoy the weekend. It's hard drive. Down by the Rio Grande. I'm clear. Click. Click.